Hey guys, Aaron here. I have a new knife to show you. Um, it's been a little while since I've made a video and I'm making a couple of videos today. But first up is my Pohan Lu Bluefin. Um, po is a, a really cool custom knife maker out of Arizona. Uh, I think it's Arizona. Maybe it's New Mexico. I think it's New Mexico. So scratch that. Anyway, um, this is his Bluefin model. He makes it in three sizes, which is three and a quarter inch, three and a half, or three, I think it's three and a quarter, three and a half, and three and three quarters. So on the quarter inch in the threes. Um, and uh, you can kind of pick what you want in terms of inlays or scale treatments or something like that. And this is the first one he's made in this configuration, which is double labyrinth pattern with a labyrinth backspacer and a superconductor clip there. Uh, the superconductor, as you can see, has patinaed up quite a bit. But one of the things that Pohan is uh, really famous for is these Scandi ground uh, blades. So what, you're, what you've got here, and there's some schmutz on there, I used it to open a, a box, um, is a V-ground, zero grind Scandi. So uh, there's no final bevel. This goes all the way to the edge. And... Uh, Sharp really isn't even the right word for what these knives are. Um, I didn't bring out a piece of paper to chop up for you, but this thing just press cuts right through it with little or no effort. Um, as you can see on this side, Poe is using IKBS. So there is an IKBS bearing system in here around this pivot. One of the upgrades that I opted for was a Stephen Kelly titanium custom pivot. So this is, um, this is Stephen's. I'm actually having to be careful how I'm handling the knife here because it's so sharp. Um, this is Steven's bullseye pattern um, pivot there. And uh, just really excellent detail work. You can see everything's fitted really well. The pocket clip here is really neat. Uh, this is a superconductor, so it's copper niobium. Um, the niobium are the little circles in there, and the copper is obviously along the side. You can see that it has begun to patina. Um, uh, for some reason, knives that I own, the copper on the patina is really quickly, but it gives it kind of this dark, sort of rustic look to it. And I think this is the—I think Poe is telling me this is the first knife where he countersunk the screws in the clip. Normally, they would just be button head screws on the top there. Um, let's see what else. You can see the the labyrinth there. Here's the backspacer. It's an all tie backspacer that he milled with a little maze pattern there. And uh, his jimping, oh, this is a really neat little detail. You can see in the jimping, I have no idea how he does this, but you see blue, green, red. So he's gone down and kind of colored each one of these little jimping holes, which is nice. Steel will heat color like that, but you kind of need to be careful how you do it because unlike tie, it will wear away. So hidden in these in, in these jim, in this jimping, it will uh, it'll stay there for quite a while. One of the things that I have found um, about this knife, kind of in comparison to some of my others, is Poe puts just this monster detent in it. Um, once you kind of learn the angle to hit it and the technique to flip it, it'll flip every time, but it is quite a detent to overcome. Uh, that could be a little bit of a, a learning curve for some people. It's not a complaint by me. I love it, but it's just something to be made aware of. And you can see Poe etches the blades with his name, and he's got a little, a little system here. It's uh, one underline means that it's the first knife in this configuration that he's made. So this is the first lefty dual labyrinth, so on and so forth. And then if there's two lines underneath it, it's it's part of the first run of that model. So if you have one of the first runs of the Hamachis, it's gonna have Lou with two underlines. So um, yeah, I guess that's it. Um, this is my Pohan Lou uh, Bluefin, three and a quarter inch. Um, it's S35 VN blade steel with a zero Scandi grind, double labyrinth tie handles with a uh, Stephen Kelly custom pivot and a superconductor clip. So I hope you guys like it. And as always, I'm looking forward to your comments. So yeah, stay tuned for another video. Aaron out of here.